Since we're there together, I have to ask, because you're doing the interviews together, does this mean we're back friends again? I'm going to let Ryan answer that. Uh, ain't no friends in this. Uh, you know. <laughs> I think our past has scorned Ryan. Um, so I'm still working on it. <laughs> I'm still okay. working on it. But I have good intentions. So. Okay. okay. Well, the fact that you guys can be in the same room and cordial and professional, I think that that's a good sign. Thank you. Thank you. So there's a new Nine Mag on the horizon. Uh, Ryan, can you tell us anything about that? What do you guys have coming up with that? Everybody's excited to see what you have at the new location. Yeah, uh, you know, just with uh, coming back, uh, I'm bringing a, uh, a new feel of what I've learned uh, about myself, about my faults in leadership and, and uh, friendship and business. And I'm applying that to everything that I'm doing. And, um, you know, it just it doesn't go along with what we've had before. You know what I mean? And, you know, if anybody couldn't get with it, then, you know, you get ran over, you know. So it's just about me applying what needs to be done for business as opposed to what I was doing for friendships and family. Do you think there will be a building process with that? I think one of the things that stood out with, with your location and your roots, um, which are deep in Chicago, was the family aspect of it. Everybody kind of felt like that was home. With new employees, a new location, do you think that that's something that you'll have to work on, or do you think that it's something that's kind of happening organic? Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely something that that will have to be worked on, you know, but um, it's just the uh, the rearrangement. You know, I'm not putting friends and family first before business. You know, I've done that before. Um, it's what I genuinely know how to do. But, you know, being a businessman and then taking losses from doing that, you know, I've had to learn where to cut my losses at doing that, you know, and that's whether it be close friends, close family, or even putting people before myself for what I need to do. Uh, in business and then maybe the family and friend aspect can be learned on the back end with respect but you know what has to be established is the demographics of business and respect mm -hmm. yeah and talking about things learned you're gonna it's kind of shift gears here because of course we opened the first uh episode with you throwing the ball at the white Sox game is that something you gotta be honest now did you practice that throw because we were like is this gonna be enough for 50 cent thing or is he gonna do it good you did a good job no 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 I, uh you know i was i was i was afraid that um you know when you get up there the uh the mound is further than you think you know what i mean i know how people <laughs> always mess it up, you know what I mean? And everybody didn't get a chance to do that. So, you know, being a South Side kid and then being able to throw out the first pitch at a Chicago White Sox game is, like, monumental for me, you know. Um, but I just had to make sure I threw fast and high, and I threw higher than normal, and it landed right at a strike, you know. I thought I was going to mess it up, but it ended up being good. It ended up being good. Good deal. Charmaine, you are definitely living your best life right now as far as your career is concerned. I'm trying, girl. You know, the radio station obviously blessed me with a career, and that opened up a lot of other doors for me. So she had like ten jobs on the first episode. <laughs> I got like twelve. I didn't even know. <laughs> but you know, because I was able to not even able because I was forced to take time away from the tattoo shop thanks to Ryan. Um, Luckily, I had other things on my plate that I could focus on, and it turned out being really good for me. I was able to totally expand my brand on the break that I had with NIMAG, and I'm still trying. You You're know, still on break. I'm still on break, and I'm still trying to expand my brand. But, you know, hopefully Ryan and I can, like, fix things in the future. See, I'm trying to give him the eyes. <laughs> So with all with all your eleven jobs, does this mean that baby duties are on hold for now? You're focusing on career. Oh, girl, baby duties, baby duties, marriage duties. I was tripping. I don't know what I was thinking. You know, I should have like taken a page out of the book from all my guy friends because they have children and families, and it's not easy. You know, so you kind of are in the position where you have to choose one or the other as a female. And right now, I'm choosing my career. I'm choosing that bag, that coin. I'm just trying to expand. Um, if I could be like anyone, I want to be like Lala, like Angie Martinez, like Nessa Nitti. And I mean, 
they ain't really got kids like that. Lala got one, but <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to focus on my career and focus on getting back in good graces with Ryan and NIMAG. And Ryan, since we're talking about uh, relationships, of course, we were sorry to hear about the split with Rachel. Clearly, she's always going to be in your life because of the kids. But are you now open to new love, or do you think you two will eventually get back together? Ooh, new love. No, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not out here flaunting like, hey, y'all, you know, I'm single. You know what I mean? I'm just not in a relationship. You know, I'm not in a relationship from one that I was in where I planned on getting married to the mother of my children. Um, and that's due to faults of mine. So from that, uh, all this allowed for me to do was to, um, again, you know, reset and then do some things about bettering myself uh, to either possibly, you know, come back to a whole or, you know, become better just for whatever the future has for me. But, uh, I mean, after that, you know, all that did was allow for me to just go deeper into learning how to, you know, better myself and then make better business decisions as opposed to, you know, putting other things on the forefront. Fantastic. Absolutely. And le- <laughs> right. last question. Sorry, last question for you guys. Is there anything that I didn't ask that you would like to say? Uh, no, man, it's like this season kicks up kind of fast, you know, so uh, stemming from last week's uh, premiere episode, you know, tonight's episode will be, you know, a crazy one, you know, that I don't think people are uh, ready for or even expecting. So, you know, it ain't really nothing to say. <laughs> I think for uh, me, the season was a little crazy uh, or the past seasons were crazy, but this season is more about the rebuild of NIMAG. The, the the true night mag. So, you know, tune in tonight. We will all be tuned in. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.